Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Sher Khan's pre-market update. Uh, friends, uh, first and foremost, we will have a look at the global events. Uh, what we have seen in Japanese yen is that it has hit a 20-month low of around 85 yen per dollar. Now, this is because of a lot of expectations which have built uh, from the newly formed prime minister in Japan, uh, where we are expect with markets expecting a lot of stimulus measures that can have been t that would take place. Uh, to ease the deflation there, and to inc and the, and the prime minister has a target of uh, uh, to, uh, of a two percent inflation. It, uh, the prime minister has also uh, pressurized the Bank of Japan to uh, you know, p p p ease the monetary policy measures there to increase the spending and to uh, revive the revive the overall economic activity in Japan. Because of which we have seen the Nikkei markets, which have rallied so strongly in the past few weeks. Uh, uh, apart from the, apart from that, as far as the global markets are concerned, the only exception is the U.S. fiscal cliff. Uh, apart from that, there are no major economic activity news uh, which could actually dampen the overall investor sentiments uh, globally. Also, currently we uh, we are seeing that Asian markets are trading on a flat to positive note, uh, with overall very thin volumes expected uh, in the global markets because of any lack of any economic activity and news. Uh, back home, what we have seen on Monday, uh, the FIS continued their buying spree uh, with the positive uh, cash flows of around 460 crores provisional figures. And at the same point of time, DIs were sellers to a tune of around 238 crores. Apart from that, uh, we are seeing the overall markets uh, uh, going in trend with the global markets. And we will take a view as to how the markets are likely to shape up going ahead Mr. Mr. Nandish will give us an idea on the basis of the futures and options data. Hi Nandish, good morning. Hi, good morning. Uh, how are the overall markets likely to be till expiry? See, uh, we have seen that rollover trends around 45 percent. No, generally, uh, uh, yesterday was being a holiday, and we have seen a highest rollover on the first day of the expiry week. So, uh, and uh, even if far as the open trades is concerned, you know. We have seen a very good accumulations taking place in the second half in the previous trading session. So I think that uh, uh, till expiry we might see a volatile move as no, it's still only 45% rollovers we have seen. And generally last time we have seen the average of around 3 months and 6 months average is around 65 and 70%. So I think that still there is a lot more to happen into the market and market will remain volatile in the coming days. So any strike prices to be watching for? for? See on the option side, uh, we have seen that 5,800 put options ad added around 5 lakh shares in open interest. And on the uh, call side, we have seen around 12 lakh shares been unwinded and uh, no, uh, very good activity has been taking place in the current month series put options as well. Uh, now as far as the uh, January series data is concerned, no, 6,000 call options has seen a very good addition. So what I think that the you know, overall bias seems to be negative as you no know, volume weighted average price for the market stands around 5,900 levels. So that will be a hurdle for the coming days. No, my, we might see resistance coming in maybe today or tomorrow. But uh, what I think that no, overall bias uh, is uh, still is, I think that there will be a good technical bounce and 5,800 will act as a very good support. So from the current levels, what I think that uh, uh, if we get around 5830, 5810 levels, then it's a very good level to uh, again uh, enter into the market on the long side. And once we surpass 5,900, then we might see expiry targets around 5950, 5980 levels. Okay, fine. Thanks, thanks a lot. Friends, let's have a look at some of the MID ideas for today. First and foremost, uh, uh, an update and on, on to the new listing is the shares of uh, CARE are likely to list today and on ENSC and BSC. And the company has given the shares at around rupees uh, 750 per share. Uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to what the opening of the overall uh, company is likely to be today. The Rangaranjan panel has recommended some of the uh, proposals uh, as far as the oil and gas is concerned, where the, com where the committee has uh, recommended and uh, uh, the pricing for the natural gas, which will be linked to the global market price uh, and which would actually double the overall natural gas prices. Also, it has proposed a concurrent audit for investments uh, over $1 billion, uh, which would enable the government to keep a real-time vigil on the books of the oil and gas producers. It also proposed uh, the current cost recovery regime to be replaced by a transparent uh, profit sharing system. So these are some of the recommendations uh, for the oil and gas sector. 
Fortis uh, Healthcare, the promoters are likely to shed around 16.5% to raise around rupees 900 crores. Uh, from this 16.5%, uh, around 6.5% will be via uh, OFS route and 10% would be via private placement. Power Grid, a positive news for Power Grid is that the company has formed a joint venture with the Odisha Power Transmission Company Limited to develop the transmission lines in the state. The two power transmission utilities will have equal share in the joint venture, would, would, which would take up the approximately rupees 2,000 crore worth of projects in Odisha. Uh, on basis of this news, we recommend to go long in Power Grid with a stop loss of 112 for a target of 117 to 120 on an entire basis. Uh, positive news for Pantaloon Retail, uh, where the CCI has given a green signal to the takeover of the future group's uh, Pantaloon brand business by Aditya Billa Nuvo. We recommend to go long on Pantaloon Retail with a stop loss of 232 for a target of 244 and 248. Binani Industries is likely to divest around a 40% stake in Binani Cement, uh, where the company has given an inboard. Uh, in principle, approval for the same. The action to be taken is long Binani Industries with a stop loss of 128 for a target of 135 to 137. Friends, uh, the, the data which, which uh, the retailers have received is uh, which uh, mentions that the sales in the 7 to 10 days leading up to the Christmas have shot up by around 20 to 30% uh, vis a vis last year. And despite there being an absence of the major discounts, uh, uh, and the promoter schemes which were better than the expected consumer demand and is likely to encourage such uh, overall sales uh, to continue till mid of Jan. So overall, the sentiments are very positive for the consumer industry and we recommend to go long on CESE, the stop loss of 302 to target of uh, 317 to 323. That's it, friends, from the MID Ideas. Uh, have a nice trading day. Thank you.